What's up, fellow worship techs and volunteers? My name is Robert with Lucerne Baptist Church. I'm the technical director for them here in Lilburn, Georgia. And today I want to talk about live streaming our services. Now, normally I'd be in our tech booth with a camera in the tech booth behind me showing you guys all of the things I'm talking about. But today I'm at home um, and I am using Team Viewer to access the different aspects of the worship um, tech system. So it's going to be a little different for me and for you guys, I'm sure. But, you know, in light of this COVID-19, a lot of us are doing online-only services, which has brought up some questions of how do we do this online-only stuff. And so our church has been live streaming for a couple of years now. We've been live streaming with vMix uh, and using Proclaim for our lyrics software uh, for about six months, nine, really about 90 days now. Really just gotten the hang of everything and everything kind of straightened out over the, over the last 90 days. So I wanted to share um, some of the things that we're doing, and maybe that could help some other people out who are just now getting into the streaming, or maybe you've been streaming like we were with just a camera and a computer, and you want to kind of take the next leap into some multi-cams. So what does our setup look like? Well, we're running a soft piece of software called vMix, and vMix is the heart of our setup. Um, it is a live video production um, software that does recording, can stream to multiple platforms. You can stream up to three different platforms from vMix yourself. So negating the need to have some sort of a paid service to stream to and then distribute to different platforms. You can stream to Facebook and YouTube or uh, Vimo uh, straight from, uh, from vMix if you know how to put the settings together. Now, the beauty about vMix is it works on pretty much any um, hardware that's kind of recent. You're not going to go take your Pentium 4 uh, in, or your you know Core 2 Duo and use it to run vMix, but we are running uh, an i7-4770K, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 1060 NVIDIA graphics card in our machine, and we've got five inputs. Uh, so the way our system is set up is our main tracking camera, which follows the pastor around stage, um, you know, and, and follows the worship leader around stage. Our A cam, for better lack of words, uh, is going to be a Canon HF R800. It's a really cool camera. It's simple. It's it's clean HDMI output. No frills. No extra special things to do to get the HDMI to work. It functions the way it's supposed to function. If you're used to an old school camcorder, this is the camera to go by. They're like 200, 220 bucks. And the image quality is as good as any of the sub thousand dollar prosumer cameras. Um, it is great in low light. It has good color balance. It's a little grainy on pixelation. It's a little grainy, like noisy. Pixelation isn't a problem. It's not really pixelated. It looks pretty good. You guys will see an example of it um, later on in this video. So we're running a five camera system, sometimes a six camera system. So that's our main camera. Our other cameras are iPhone 6S's and iPhone 5S's, and we have one iPhone 11 Pro that floats in every once in a while um, if it's there that day uh, that we use. And the way that we get these iPhones into vMix is by an app called NDI Cam. This is uh, 100 bucks. I'm sorry, 100 bucks. It's $10, um, and as long as you keep the iPhones all on the same iTunes account, then you can buy it once and you're done. So what we did is we went on eBay and we bought a bunch of uh, uh, locked iPhones, not iTunes activation locked like Sprint locked, AT&T locked. They can't be used on a network because their IMEI is banned, right? So we bought these phones and they're super cheap. You can buy them for like a hundred bucks a piece. You can buy an iPhone six for a hundred dollars buy this camera for 10 bucks and you have a wireless high definition camera for 110 to 150 dollars which is exceptional um, if you've been looking at if you know what wireless cameras uh, you know what they do they, and these things work phenomenal so that's what we use there and we use proclaim um, for our uh, graphic creation our slide pages uh, video playback and uh, for our lyrics. So let's jump over in here to our system and let's take a look here. So here's Proclaim. We'll get to that in a second. Let's go over to vMix. So this is our, these are our two monitors we have in our vMix machine. I wish we had 
uh, more. We just we don't have physically don't have any room in the booth for more monitors at the moment. Um, so we got a 24 inch over here that runs the multi cam view. So this is your preview, what's coming up. This is what's going out live. Then all the different cameras down here. So that's our wired camera, the Canon HF R800 in the booth. That's the iPhone 11. Then our one, two, three, four um, iPhone 6s and one iPhone 5S. Uh, we camera angles you'll see in the video. We've got uh, two establishing shots, one on either side of the stage. Um, and then we've got the um, Canon HF R800 in the booth. We usually only have three cameras. Sometimes we'll set up, if we're doing a special thing, we'll set up a camera on the keyboard and we'll set up a camera on the drum, um, on the drum set. But most of the time we can get away with having three cameras in our worship center and we can produce a, a lot of content with those three cameras. Now the iPhones are typically static shots. We kind of set them before service and we don't necessarily change them. Uh, it's a nice though we can use the, the iPhone and the iCams as cutaway cameras. So we can cut away and then move the Canon HF R800 to the next shot we want to do and then cut back to the Canon. You'll see how that works as well when we go to show you an example of how that, you know, how our service goes together. Uh, when we broadcast in 720p, we record in 1080p. Now our, our native resolution is 1080p. Um, the iPhones, if, they're, if it's a 4K compatible, we'll send 4K over the NDI. Uh, but we, only, we don't have any, the only 4K camera we have is the one iPhone 11. So we just run it at 1080. Um, and you'll see in the video, the iPhone 11 looks phenomenal. Um, I mean, I'm, we're to the point where we're trying to find some used iPhone 11s and 11 Pros that are maybe already act, like activated locked that we can use as secondary cameras because they are just absolutely insane cameras. Even the iPhone 10s are great cameras to have laying around. Our lyrics come in via Proclaim over NDI desktop capture. I'll show you that in a second as well. Uh, our audio comes in to the uh, uh, to VMix right here via a uh, Behringer UMC 204, whatever Behringer's uh, two-channel USB interface is. Uh, audio comes from our Studio Live uh, 32 Series 3 um, off of an auxiliary send um, and over two XLRs into that capture device. We would hook it up via USB, but the front of house computer with the multi-track recorder is already hooked up via USB, so that's uh, already taken. Um, over here on our Proclaim computer, you can see our three outputs. That's the projector screen. That's the main, the big 150-inch screen that's in center of stage. The um, control window and then the overlay window. Now in Proclaim and in ProPresenter as well, you can come in here and you can tell Proclaim that I only want to send the foreground, so that's just your text. And then I want to use this, this color as my background color. So I can see there, or I can make it blue. We use black. Black seems to work the best in our situation. So the piece of software that connects the Proclaim computer to the vMix machine is this piece of software called uh, NDI desktop capture. It is a free tool that is provided by vMix. So you can install this on any computer you want to install it on and it will uh, put broadcast you out on your network with an NDI stream. And the way the NDI stream looks when you come to vMix over here to add it in, general change. So these are all the different um, NDI uh, sources that are available. So if all my iPhones on the stage were turned on right now, they would all be showing up under this um, uh, this window here. So you can see this is display one, which is our control display. Display two is just the lyrics. Display three is the whole th thing. And then what NDI also does is it gives you each individual window. Now this isn't as reliable as actually grabbing the desktop, the displays themselves. So I never use this to grab the window. Now, if you had like a media player opened up, let's say, and you were playing a video on the media player and you left it, you know, minimized over there, it, NDI will capture just that window of that media player if you wanted to go that far. And back over here in vMix, we will go up to here. 
and this is where you set your chroma key, your color correction, which is not really much. It's either black text over a white background or black text, I'm sorry, or white text over a black background. We don't really do any colored text. Sometimes we do. So here's the overlay controls for all your different overlays. So you just pick what overlay channel you want to work on, and then you can select what that overlay looks like. So obviously for Proclaim, because it's a graphic here in the middle of the page, we have scaled it and moved it down to the bottom of the page here. You can see there how that's done. Uh, how you assign your overlay controls are done here, so you'll see that. Um, if I scroll up, that is selected as overlay number three, which corresponds to being overlay number three here on the screen. So now that we've seen how all this is put together, let's. Um, Let's look at an example video of what it kind of all looks like when it's all brought together. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro. You can see it's got very good definition, really good movement. You see the lower third lyrics down there brought in via NDI. Every once in a while the NDI cams will glitch just like you saw there. Uh, we're still trying to figure out what that glitch is. I'm not sure if it's a network problem or if it's a graphic processing card problem. This again right here is one of the iPhone 6s. You can see the difference between the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 6s. The 6s is still a good, good image. Now this right here is the Canon HFR 800. Now the lighting in our room is terrible. We have LED up lighting on the back wall. We have very limited front lighting when they did our uh, lighting in our sanctuary, it was set up for a smaller stage. They then extended the stage out and we lost um, our lighting. You see our worship leader, he's in bright lights right there, but then he'll step out of it because the, the lighting in the ceiling is only set up for the old stage. The new stage area that's built outside of that lighting was never lit properly. So he steps out of it there. So this is the worst possible lighting solution that we could be putting any of these cameras into. Back to the iPhone 11 Pro, it just looks, it looks so good. I, I wish I could afford to get two or three of those iPhone 11 Pros. We just give thanks for the things that you have done. We give thanks for the fact that you sent your only son to die for us. And the one thing I know is you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of whatever my beastly life can bring, Lord. You are worthy See a little of glitch there. I could ever give. Like I said, we've been trying to figure out what that glitch in the system is, um, but for what what we're using, a $65 ASUS AC1300 uh, um, dual band router, uh, and everything is running on 2.4 gigahertz, not 5 gigahertz. So the fact that we're running two, three phones off of the 2.4 gigahertz um, I'm very impressed with the performance of this system. Now our audio is run from our Presona Studio Live Series 3 32 channel console. Uh, it's a dedicated mix for front of from front of house uh, for the, the uh, broadcast stream here. And um, it's a uh, two channel auxiliary mix or so running stereo. Uh, we do have room mics, but they're not prevalent in this mix. Um, and we leave everything at Unity on the broadcast mix, and then we use the top fader layer of the house mix to get a good sounding mix uh, in the house, and then if we need to finesse the broadcast mix, we'll then go into that auxiliary lower layer and push vocals up, subtract a kick drum, um, pull the bass out. Usually the bass and the kick drum are pretty heavy in the live mix in the house, uh, but they turn out to be too much for the live stream. So we end up backing those down. Where again, you can see the iPhone um, success. And then that K9 
Canon HF uh, R800. We've debated on buying some more of those Canons. So you're about $200 a camera. Um, and then we were trying to figure out how to get them into the system. So it either means buying another capture card, about 500 bucks, and then running um, SDI or HDMI, and then they kept converters either way. Um, so we've, we've talked about that, or we've also talked about doing uh, HDMI to NDI converter boxes, but that brings the cost up to about $800 a camera. Uh, so I think what we're gonna end up doing is probably doing uh, a couple more of those Canon HF R800s and then doing uh, RTMP IP uh, encoders to vMix to see how that turns out. Jesus, the name above every other, with one touch I made whole. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this today. I appreciate you checking out the video. Hopefully I helped some of you guys out uh, with some ideas on how you can do your live stream. Uh, if you got any questions about the NDI cam, how we're using the iPhones, some technical things on how we're actually doing, uh, you know, settings and wise, be sure to leave a comment on here or shoot me a PM. Um, you know, I have no problem taking the time and walking you guys through it. If you have any questions with vMix, um, I've been using vMix since 2015. I've been using it in this current system uh, for about six months now. Um, would love to talk to anybody about how to set vmix up i'm not an integrator i don't sell this stuff i'm just a technical director at a church that knows that this stuff is frustrating has gone through the frustrating don't know how to do this kind of stuff i had to figure it out on my own i would love to help anybody out down the same path and kind of maybe save you guys some headaches so y'all stay safe stay healthy and um talk to you guys later That's right.